week we're going to be celebrating uh, the art of crafting, which I think is an unsung art form. Today we're going green with some last minute St. Patrick's Day crafts. And who better to welcome spring in three days than Amy Goodman. Yay. Welcome back. Hello. Wait, this is not a craft cocktail segment? I signed up for craft cocktails. I thought it was craft cocktails, but maybe that's the second segment with Ryan. <laughs> well, Guinness to all of us at the end. So these are made with things that you can recycle, upcycle, things that you have in your home because today is the day. Did you know when you capture a leprechaun, they have to grant you wishes? So we're going to make our own little leprechauns. Now, Kelly, I don't know if you know me that well, but I love crafting with toilet paper rolls. It's the one so thing I said, we need to get Amy Goodman here because <laughs> I never know what to do with all my toilet paper rolls. Right. And at, at the vol volume that we're using them right. and, and mm -hmm. using them now. So you take your toilet paper roll and divide it into like three sections. You're going to do a skin tone construction paper, a yellow for the shirt, and a green for the pant. You have a belt there. You can add the belt if okay. you like, which also, again, is just made with simple construction paper, a little swag of black there. Oh, here. Or you can do a face if you like, have some fun making emoji faces that represent your family's personalities. The key that is really fun is using a pipe cleaner to you wrap this around like a pen and you create a beard and you want to make sure that it's just the framing is just right around the face add hot glue to both sides and to secure that you would actually use the the clothes pins to help hold that into place to make sure that it dries properly so eventually cute. you remove that and you add a little top hat and your leprechaun is ready for action oh my gosh it's so cute oh Oh, that's one way to do it, but you could also flip it. Oh, flip. And then the hat would oh, that actually way. be the right, top hat. It. Yes, got popping it. up. <laughs> you know what? You're, you're a really good teacher because you're like, that's one way to do it. Well, yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing, when you're doing with these with your kids, literally there is no right or wrong way. Right. Very quickly, we're gonna make a leprechaun frame using a photo that you might already have. I actually just printed this in my printer, like today, this is my son. Is that your son? And with some construction, and he was very, very sweaty, obviously this was after PE. And then we're gonna add a cute little top hat and obviously all the orange. This is felt, but you can just do out of construction paper, the beard. I have something to say school, school systems across the world. <laughs> Why the school photo after PE always? Mm -hmm. I'm right. just I know the poor the poor guy and right. he really he mm -hmm. and he, the funny thing is he loves this picture which right, I think is so cute for right. my sporty guy. So then we're going to make a luck of the Irish wreath. I used a 10 inch foam that I spray painted gold. Yours is already green. Um, but if you don't have this you can use cardboard and cut out a ring and then just assorted large and small shamrocks of different sizes, papers and colors and here's a hot tip. You're going to hot glue that on. Make sure you fold on the diagonal so that it gives it a bit of dimension. When yeah. it sits on your wreath, add some string to the back with some hot glue, and you have a really pretty decorative item that you can hang on literally any so door great. with a wall safe hook. How's it going over there? And you can use it year after year. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And actually, you know, I love this fresh green color, which kind of goes for all of spring and summer, too. I think it's very cool. Oh, wow, you did a fantastic Thank job. Thank you. Well, it was 99% <laughs> done. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> All right, when we come back, Ryan is going to do some spring crafting as well. Cocktails? Cocktails, oh, oh gosh, you know, Yes, I'm going to have a surprise cocktail at the end. All right, stick around. We're with Amy Goodman. <laughs> <laughs> we're back with Amy Goodman, and for some reason they gave me a lab coat, so we're really going to get dirty in this well, it's crafting for, it's segment. for the Guinness after, you know, it's very frothy and foamy. Okay, here. good, right. Yeah. All right Where so are we for, starting? I love modern crafts, and this is taking a very simple wooden frame. I happen to paint it green for to kind of camouflage it. We're going to add to that moss from the backyard. Now, I realize some people might not have moss. You can get this at the craft store, or you can do green leaves. You can add some textural items and paint them green, and you're just going to hot glue that on. I literally would just hang this up just like this or put it in a front bureau uh, on the entryway. Is this real moss? Super, this is real This is real moss. This is real moss. beautiful right. moss. Isn't Look that lovely? That. I love the texture and it's super, super, or you can frame your face. Happy St. Patrick's Day. How lucky okay. are you? All right, Very next cool. up is, um, this is our green blossom. I know a lot of places in the country are currently in bloom, not here. So you're going to take five pieces of a two by three inch tissue paper, okay. fold it onto itself, accordion fold, Cinch it in the center with a pipe cleaner, and you end up with this little blossom. Now, That's you're going to cool. open the petals one by one. Once you get it all get opened up, voila, and then you scrunch it for perfection. You can add this to branches that you have in your yard, and these are my pretty uh, artsy branches that are made from paper. Uh, but you can, obviously, these are green blooms. You can do them in any color, peach, pink, white, etc., for a fresh bloom that's going to last throughout the season. All right. And lastly, but not least, we have these glass containers here that we're going to 
going to have you paint up using that craft Now paint. I know I have my lab coat. Yes, that's your lab coat. And this is to repurpose any type of vase or glass that you have that you aren't really using. Two coats of the white paint, going to cinch it up with some raffia at the top for a really beautiful feel. Pop in some green uh, greenery or some blooms. And I think that this just makes a really, really pretty modern. Oh, you're doing such a phenomenal, well, listen. phenomenal job. Uh, nice tabletop decor or for a pop in a corner or even in your bathroom. And this works all year, though. These are beautiful for all, just not St. Patrick's Day, not just well, spring. No, not, but the luck of the Irish is with us throughout the year. Okay, now for the beer, we'll take a break. We'll have that off camera. And instructions for Amy's Crafts are available on our website. Next, we meet an Arizona family and hear how they've become healthier over the past year right after this. Great to see you, Amy. Thanks for being here. Thank you.